Hi! In this video I will explain the basics of the Silicon Labs Connect stack and show how to build a network with an example application. Connect is a complete network stack for Silicon Labs wireless MCUs. Since it supports wireless geckos from 2.4 GHz and all of the sub GHz bands, it supports physical layers for each of these. The link layer is based on IEEE 802.15.4 and the network layer supports point-to-point, -point, star, extended star and single hop direct topologies. The stack also integrates some basic OS features like task or sleep scheduler. To use Connect, you will need Simplicity Studio and you should download the stack from www.scilabs.com connect and install it. To add the stack to Studio, open its preferences, go to Simplicity Studio, SDKs, click on Add and browse the location you install the stack. We are going to use the sensor sync example which uses star topology. The sensors are star end devices and they periodically send data to the sync, which is the star coordinator. We are going to use four wireless SDKs with dual band mighty geckos, but this example should work with a number of wireless geckos. So let's open a connect example application from Studio. Start the application builder. Select Connect and open the Sync application. On the next windows you can set the name of the application and the compiler. As you can see a Connect application has two files. An ISC configurator file which is automatically opened and a Connect callbacks.c file. The callbacks file has the application specific embedded code. The ISC file looks the same for every project, but holds different configurations. Let's see a general view of the configuration available here. On the General tab you can set basic things, like the physical band. You can also find the detailed description of the application here. On the Printing tab you can enable or disable various debug print sources and add commands to the embedded command interpreter. On the plugin tabs you can enable, disable and configure various parts of the framework. For example, the Heartbeat plugin will blink an LED while the application is running. The callbacks are notifications from the stack to the application. For example, the application will receive the Ember AF incoming message callback on every received message. On the other tab you can add include paths and external C files and you can create events here which can be used as scheduled tasks. Let's generate the project with the generate button. The next window will ask if it's ok to overwrite some files. It's very important to not overwrite the connect callbacks.c file if you are working with an example. Generally your application code is in the connect callback file, you should only overwrite it if you did not write anything yet, since overwriting it would result a file with stop callback functions. If generation was successful, compile the application. If the build finished, click on the debug button to upload the application to one of the boards. Then start the application and disconnect from the debugger. Our sync is ready, let's continue with the sensor. Start a new example again. Select sensor this time and create the application. Note that the configurator looks the same, the difference is in the callbacks file and the plugin configurations. Compile the application, but this time do not debug it. Since you want to use the same binaries on multiple devices, it's easier to flash them from Studio's Network Analyzer perspective. 
We can open the network analyzer view from the simplicity perspective or from the perspective selector. As you can see, one of the devices is already programmed with the sync example. Select all other devices and click on Flash Upload. Browse the sensor binary we just compiled. You can also set the Flash programmer to completely erase the chip before uploading the application. Start uploading the application with OK. We programmed the devices, but they are not connected to a network yet. In order to do that, we should set them up using the command line interface. To open the serial console, select all the devices and click on Launch Console. I rearranged the windows here so we can see all the consoles. If you press Enter in the consoles, it will show a prompt which includes the name of the application. We can identify the console of the sync this way. The command line interface includes an embedded help which lists all the commands available. To create a network, type in form 0 on the sync. This will create a network on channel 0. Then type in pjoin120 also on the sync. This will enable end devices to join the network for 2 minutes. On the sensors, type in join 0. The sensors will try to join the network on channel 0. As you can see, the sensors connected to the sync and started sending the data. We can also use the network analyzer to capture the packets. To do that, first we should change the decoder of the network analyzer because it's set to ZigBee by default. To change the decoder, go to Settings, Network Analyzer, Decoding, Stack Versions, and select Connect Stack here. Close the window with OK. Now let's select all the adapters we use and right click on them and click on Start Capture. I turn off the auto scroll so we can see what's happening. As you can see, the sensors periodically send sensor sync data to the sync. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and have a great day!